so at the foundation, we think about uh, how to build a resilient and decentralized network and community that can never be shut down. So today, I would like to propose one governance model. So the DNA of Ton community has always been community driven. From the very beginning, this test network that was launched was being maintained by validators from the community. Since Telegram was forced to abandon the development of Ton blockchain, developers from the community like Kirill and Toya led bravely the development of Ton blockchain, implementing the idea that was originally conceived by Telegram. Thanks to the uniqueness of our distribution, which was fair launch and a distribution through mining for two years, it was able to attract more and more community members like myself and others to join this movement. In the past one year, we have seen some challenges that all layer one blockchains go through. First, concentration of capital. We noticed that a lot of human, uh, social, political, and financial capital accumulate around the foundation, which made it difficult for independent projects to be successful without the official support from the foundation. As a result, many projects waste time or uh, waste time building relationship with the foundation, not building their product. And as an ecosystem as a whole, we end up with less and less competitive products to offer compared to other blockchains. Third, since the foundation uh, is unchallengeable and there is no competition towards the functions that foundation serves, foundation is susceptible for being inefficient. So a sound layer one governance should democratize access to capital, allowing projects to receive funding and other resources based on their contribution to the network. Second, we should incentivize competition where the projects do not feel that they cannot succeed because they don't know the foundation. There are two approaches of thinking about this. One is the corporate model, the other is community model. The corporate model suggests that the foundation invests all resources into making one project successful in that uh, type. Before the maturity of the community, this in fact is the only choice because there is no community to work with. Second, this results in efficient output. But once the community matures and there are very respected and well widely uh, 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 respected community members in the, in the community, this corporate approach is susceptible to do the exact opposite what, of what it aimed to do. It may be susceptible to stifling competition, creating single point of failure, and creating bottleneck. The community model, which we are now evolving to, suggests that we invite the community members together to build through a clear and transparent process. Before maturity, this model may not work because the, uh, out, uh, the performance and the coordination of the community members may be low quality. However, in the past one year, we believe that our community has matured enough that we must update our governance model. We are introducing Society DAO. This is our strategy to scale the growth of Ton blockchain and a unique governance model that no others have taken. And this is our ambitious social experiment to build our Ton community 
into a 5 million active community members contributing to advancing the Tone network together. So I invite you to participate in building and advancing Tone network together. It is my pleasure to introduce to you co-founder of Ton Society, Jack Booth. Hello team. Now I finally have a presentation to give you. So, so introducing Society DAO. Society DAO is going to be the new way we govern the blockchain. How do we bring more teams in to help achieve the ecosystem goals? This is what the uh, Society DAO is here to achieve. With blockchain technology, decentralization is quite clear, right? You have more validators, you have more decentralization. With building a decentralized community capable of collective action, it's less clear. Actually, more teams do not necessarily mean more decentralization. So how do we do that? Well, as we grow, decentralizing everything is going to become core to the TON mission. It's going to be alongside network adoption in importance. We don't want to build an ecosystem which is a walled garden where no, no uh, team can participate in contributing to what drives TON development and growth. So we're starting a new phase, decentralization. And it will run concurrently with our network adoption goal uh, moving forward. So we're thinking about this in uh, quite an interesting way. We want to define decentralization. So it's, it's a spectrum, we believe. It's not an uh, end point. Decentralization happens over time. And we migrate there by being transparent, first of all. So being transparent, it means talking about what we're doing very publicly so everyone can get involved. If we're clear in Ton's history, we're clear in Ton's goals, we're clear how the community can help and contribute to achieving those goals, we build out loud, we improve the community input. Then we increase competition. Competition creates decentralization. The more competition you have in the ecosystem, the more uh, the, the more teams uh, are ready to keep, keep the resources for themselves, ready to, uh, ready to grow, what am I trying to say here? In increasing competition makes the ecosystem more resilient because when you have a player that isn't performing necessarily, it means they can swap out by another, another player. If you have a marketing team that isn't performing for the ecosystem, isn't doing the right thing, you can swap them out for a better marketing team. If you have a Telegram apps developer that's contributing to the Tony ecosystem goals, you can swap them out if they don't work well. Competition creates that resilience where it's anti-fragile. If you cut off one head, three more appear, right? Then we hand over decisions. So it's going to happen slowly. It's definitely a process here. Handing over the decision making of the capital, the, hum the social capital that Tony Ton Foundation and um, Ton Society have built to more proven members over time. So this is it the Society DAO. How the Society DAO will work is we will have the Open Network Foundation. They will provide grants to Society DAO. Society DAO provides goals, uh, key results, what they expect to achieve every six months, published publicly, uh, and is made up of these founding members, Ton Core, the core development of the blockchain, Ton Studio, controlling the developer experience. Ton Society, 
we run the community operations, the channels, the events, we engage the community. And Wallet and Telegram, who's responsible for payment adoption. So, Open Network Foundation provides the grants, Society DAO provides the plans and executes on the plans. Over time, this will grow to include many teams, many community teams, marketers, app builders, tech guys, stable coins, DeFi teams, meme teams, community teams, identi digital identity teams. All of these teams will be able to join the founding members, become part of Society DAO, and contribute to achieving the ecosystem goals. This is how we achieve decentralization. So the TON ecosystem goals creates a transparent route to, uh, to becoming a core contributor of TON. We have public goals created every six months. We have strategies from the teams within TON Society DAO and we have a community review period where the community can review the plans um, and Ton Society working groups will collectively uh, uh, approve the, the, the plans. And if approved, they get grants from Ton Foundation. So how do we then become transparent? Well, here's the goals, guys. The Ton ecosystem goals for 2025, position TON as the gateway to real world cryptocurrency uses. This is goal number one. Why? Because in order to onboard the mass audience, as I said, they don't do financial transactions every single day. They want to use real things. They want to use their crypto for things that they need in every single day life. So positioning TON as the gateway to real world crypto uses not only tells people that that's the type of applications we want on TON. But it also tells people, if your Bitcoin, for instance, right, if the real utility has been proven with Bitcoin, it's a store of value. So we want to bring all real world use, use cases to TON, the ones that are proven. And we're doing that with TG Bitcoin, TON Teleport. Then second, establish TON as the most stable and scalable blockchain. We've had our issues this year with the blockchain. We've developed, it's got better, it's improving. We will continue down this route. It continues to be a core goal for what we want. Then grow the developer and user community in super app markets. Those markets are the most important because they understand what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to build the Web3 super app where every service, entertainment, shopping is all in one application powered by Tom Blockchain. So as part of each, uh, as part of the uh, process of being in Tot Society DAO, teams will propose a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound goal um, that the community can review and understand what they're working on. And those will be reported on every single month. We're also introducing the principle of competition. Low competition equals low choice, high centralization. You don't have any choice what you can do, who you can operate with, who you can partner up with. That leads to a poor user outcome. Good competition creates choices and creates decentralization, which leads to a good user experience. So as a core principle, when choosing what projects to support, Society DAO will always allocate resources to the project that increases the competition in the ecosystem. And we'll begin to maintain a public record of everything that's going on with Society DAO. Tom Foundation will maintain the Tomcoin history as it happens, and Society DAO will, will publicly release their goals, initiatives, roadmaps, and be reporting on them every single month. So next steps. So Society DAO will prepare the plans for public, public publication uh, and working group re review. Then the Society DAO working groups will review those community proposals in December. Um, and Society DAO should begin delivering against those goals, reporting on the progress of the community. So that's it, guys. We're, we're starting a new path, a new way to decentralize TON 
It involves all of you guys here today. You can all get involved. Um, it's going to involve the founding members first. But as we realize the proven teams, the teams that are really helping the ecosystem to grow, they will be invited into SocietyDAO, and SocietyDAO will continue to grow over time.